hello hello guys welcome back to joyce arts so today i have this style here this is what we call bandica lines or, or uh, you can also call them cornrows with on here or you can call them ghanians attachments okay you can give them another name you can call them medu medu shonelea that is swahili okay and you can give them another name from your language okay good so shortly i'll be showing you a process whereby you will be able to make it this way so guys let's go so i'll be starting by doing the inner line so i've just done already the halfway so i'm only concentrating on this part here so let's part it as we continue okay. so i'm just parting it a little bit here and then i have to plate it to the other side i'll be fixing it in a small strand of braid and i'll be just doing the normal plain lines or you can call them the normal cornrows yeah so this is how i start So you don't have to pull for the line to come out in it. You just have to be gentle. Yeah. So after reaching here, I have to to finish this strand so that it can cover the part that I want. Okay. So it has to be curved. So to make that happen, I have to part another hair from here. So let's part here. So this is how I make it to be curved. So I have to plate it there. Until the middle or the center of the head, okay? All right, so let's do the lines first. As I'm doing the lines this way, I already made the the cornrows aside so they are there waiting they are ready and for anybody who is wanting or would like to know how to make the cornrows to attach or to weave on these lines you can just go to my channel and then you write bandica lines okay or you write bandica strands i am doing a three strands a three strands bandica or a three strands Ghana weave on okay so you can just check on my channel down there you'll see it and you can also learn all right good so I'm going also to do another one the process is still the, just the same remember not to pull too much because you need to add a strand on top of the line so you don't have to pull too much all right okay so we have to curve it again that way to the other side so for this part I have to do like four of them this way and then I have to do the inner ones or the middle ones that way 
this one I'm plating it just straight the way you're seeing them all right so we come here you see the hair the way it looks all of them will be meeting meeting at the center and these are the strands that I'm going to use there are 27 pieces you can check on them they are very good sharp pointing very neat yeah and they're the same size so let's start the weaving I've been needing the two needles but I have to use the thinner one I mean the small one because it does it good yeah but the bigger one make, makes it good when you are styling the finishing part so I'll be using the small one let's do it you have to lay your needle down the line first that way and then you have to do as I am doing you have to pass it through under the line to the other side of the strand again you pass through down the line to the strand the other side as you continue you pass through down the line through the the weave or the strand as you move to the other side all right so as for here i have to pass between um not between it uh how can i explain it uh through the line through the cornrows or through the line through the strand yeah that's how i can explain it better maybe i don't know i don't know but it's okay i hope you understand so through the the inner line through the cornrows or the weave on uh, so that way as we continue this way it will help you to 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 hide the thread because when you are doing that way you have to be very careful because sometimes they might turn and when they turn they will show the the thread so you have to pass it the way i'm doing it okay or to weave the way i'm weaving it so guys let's continue Remember this style doesn't pull clients hairline that much the way you guys are thinking or are saying yeah and sometimes you know a style might not be that bad yeah because we uh, hairdressers we are different yeah some are there they pull too much some they don't pull and some they're just in the middle so not everybody is pulling and not every hairdresser likes to destroy someone's hair okay guys so take note of that yeah even me i can't like to go to a dresser to a hairdresser who is pulling my hair who is making it uh or who is spoiling it okay so when you're commenting be a little bit with that caring because uh, I'm not that bad I also am not that good but uh, when you're commenting please it's good to care for me also because I also care for you guys okay yeah I just felt like saying that but I still love you guys yep so we continue with what we are doing in fact this uh, method of uh, attaching the strands is very simple 
yeah as i said earlier it's a protective method and the style also is so is a protective style so it's you to know how you play with the client's head your client's hair all right that is it so we will be putting the fourth one which is the same same process so I will let you follow the process slowly by slowly So after that you are coming here in the middle so here you just put them straight as simple as it is right but the weaving is still the same same method As for this style you can leave the braids hanging if you like them hanging but if you don't like them hanging you can still style them all right that is the last process that I'll be showing you how to style them yeah so here we go you can leave them hanging and so you have to part the, the, the strands into part into two, into two parts that way and then you have to make them smooth or lying together so you can use your needle to knit them together or to weave them together that way. Remember for better styling, the strands, the remaining strands have, have to be tight and knit. Alright? If you're doing hairstyle and that you're going to style, make sure that, that the strands they have to be knit and tight okay good so after that this remaining i have to fold it over there downward stop it Zemi. so there we go that way it, it's a simple style and I didn't like th this style because it brings everything unique I like using it because uh, it's so so easy and very nice okay so let's continue
so this is the last part here I have to fold them or you can put them together first like a one strand and then you fold them inside there so that's how simple this styling is So guys, that's how it, it looks. Yeah. So I hope you like my my art. And I thank God for you, for you being there for me. And I will always be there for you. All right. Okay. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for your support. Thank you for loving what I'm doing. So guys, for any question, any inquiries, you can just leave the comment under the comment section and then I'll get back to you. All right. Thank you so much. May God bless you. May you never lack. We love you guys. Until next time, and bye-bye.